Yo, what is up? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the arcade tokens and the best method to actually farm them. Now, I have been trying to farm a lot of them for a while and I have discovered a method that seems to work the best. Now, if I actually go to my inventory and I scroll down, I actually have seven arcade tokens, which is pretty good. Not too bad. Just in case you don't know, there is a new game mode called Claw Machine and where you can lock this new arcade dragon which looks awesome by the way i really want one of these so yeah that's what you use these tokens for oh and just in case you're curious it, this is in arrow 143 arcade town now if you go inside uh here it is it says the claw as you can see in order to play you actually need an arcade token now this sign here it actually says you earn arcade tokens from mining now this is very interesting because there's two mining areas that i'm aware of in the in world number one and that is the area 79 and i think like 30 or something and from my testing on of like me just basically mining for ages i actually didn't get a single token from mining so i don't know definitely wouldn't recommend mining for the arcade tokens because like i said i was literally mining for about an hour and i never got a single one so definitely don't do this unless somebody knows a better strat to mining that i'm not aware of it's just a huge waste of time so anyway on to the method on how to actually farm these tokens is you want to go to the tech world which is world two yeah once you're in tech world basically what i've been doing and i i found this is definitely the best way is go to the final area so here we go going over there now boom now you want to be farming in this area for sure obviously this is where you get the best amount of coins and the best drops so let me actually put on my pets real quick there we go so yeah be farming like this now with your enchantments this is actually kind of important you definitely need to be putting on enchantments that's going to help you out here now depending on what enchantments you've got you need to like put on so obviously there may be people who've got better enchantments than what i've got so maybe make sure you put those on like if you've got any of these, which I don't, I mean, these are kind of uh, the pay to win ones. But obviously, if you've got a best boss chest mimic, obviously, that's way better that you should put on if you have it. Or like the boss lucky mimic or something. Or the, no, the boss lucky block book. These are OP. But if you're like me and you don't have those really OP books, what I've actually opted for four is i have gone with the treasure hunter books now i actually have four treasure hunter books on and i also have a strong strong pets book which i believe that is what is that five six seven strong pets seven critical seven i've got a i do have one chest mimic this isn't the boss version though i've got a super magnet and then yeah the rest are tre uh, treasure hunters because if you don't know the treasure hunter books they actually increase your drop or your chances of drops from breakables by 35%. So every single time you break something, you have an extra 35% chance of getting a drop. And that's just from one book. Obviously, if you've got multiple on, that's going to be that's gonna be a lot. Now you might be thinking like, what if I don't have a Treasure Hunter 6 book? Don't worry, because when I first started doing this, I actually had like Treasure Hunter 3 books. I'm not even joking, literally level 3. And then because I was just AFKing here, I was actually farming a lot of drops. So I was getting lots of treasure hunter books as I was doing this. And I actually just upgraded it over time while farming the arcade tokens. One thing that is important to know is the arcade tokens are actually kind of hard to get. Like you won't be getting them every like minute or so. You'll probably get one like every half an hour or every 20 minutes. So you definitely got to be patient. Like I said, I've got seven and I've I've AFK'd a few hours and uh yeah, you got to be patient with this. Anyway, that's just the book. So yeah, make sure you put your best possible books on. Another thing you can definitely do to help is make sure you put on your treasure hunter potions as well. Obviously, you can upgrade your basics to rares and, you know, up and up all the way up to the best potion that you can do. Or you can just stack up loads of four potions like this because this this is 40 minutes and the the fifth one so v so four is 40 minutes and the v is 50 but as you can see like i've only got three of these and i've got 27 of these sometimes it's better to just use these rather than upgrading this to this if you know what i mean because you can have this on way longer if you get what i'm trying to say it's better to have this potion going on for like six hours rather than having this on for like 80 minutes and just running out another thing i'd recommend is put on a hasty flag i've just been using hasty flags i'm actually going to put one on you can also put on a strength flag if you want and yeah i don't think there's not really any other flags to help i think or maybe like a rainbow flag if you've not got 
the hasty or strength flag. Also put on some rainbow fruits because that's just going to speed up your pets. It's going to make a mine quicker. There's also this sprinkler thing, which is kind of new to the game. Place in an area to increase breakable respawn rate by 50%. So yeah, you might as well put a few of those on. Why not? So yeah, that's basically it. Make sure you get your potions, your enchantments, your flags your fruits oh actually i forgot to mention uh when when you're with your potions make sure you put on damage as well make sure you activate damage because obviously the faster you break stuff the more you know the faster you break in the stuff the more chance you get of uh getting the drop but yeah like i said this is it's actually just really good to just do this anyway even if you're not really that bothered with arcade tokens because the amount of potions you farm the amount of books you farm is actually kind of crazy like i've been trying to catch up recently on the game and for me to just get all these books and potions just by afk here is really cool definitely a good way to stock up on basically everything and also you're also farming like max coins too which is a huge positive as well Right, but yeah, hopefully I have said everything that I needed to. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned everything. It is kind of straightforward, to be fair. Like I say, basically once you've set everything up and you've got all your potions and treasure hunter books on and things, you do just need to be just patient, I guess. But I guess this method is pretty easy because all, all you really need to do is just AFK, you know. But if you do know a better method, please let me know because I am very interested. I want to uh, get as many of these arcade tokens as possible. Because even if you don't want to use the uh, the arcade, uh, you know, the arcade machine itself, is you can actually sell these things. They are actually kind of valuable. Um, I, I'm trying to find them right now. I keep getting lost. I always forget where they are. It's right at the bottom of the items in the mis miscellaneous but right yeah so as you can see it says that the estimated value of these seven is six million which i think has actually gone down so i think they're like 800 is it like 800k diamonds i don't know it kind of changes a lot but yeah they're like eight nearly a million diamonds each basically so it is kind of uh they are pretty good to just sell as well but then again i probably would recommend trying to do the claw machine because if you get that huge dragon which i don't even know how many exists is there a way i can see let's see if i can see on the pet index because surely that's got to be worth so much so many gems it's worth like the risk of trying to go for it, i reckon although i bet the i bet the odds of it is like like one or is it or is it below one percent i don't even know like, we'll have to see how many there are in this index if it'll even tell me super computer pet box oh here it is no i was trying to eat what is this what is, what's the super computer i don't even know the index there we go this is what i was looking for so pet so if i search huge arcade dragon okay wow so dude, what is this what huge arcade dragon huge arcade cat oh huge arcade cats huge arcade dragon wait so there's only two? Oh my there's only two that exist wow that's okay that's gotta be yeah that's gotta be really really low then if it's two only two exists I, was, I thought it was this for a second but no this is the cat version apparently there's seven gate how do you even, how'd you get the cat version does anyone know i don't even know but yeah the huge arcade dragon two two exists yeah that's got to be under one percent that's got to be like a zero 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 point zero 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 one percent chance so yeah i mean if you do hatch one you are very very lucky and uh you're also very very rich because clearly that is going to be in high demand uh, it's such a shame because it is such a cool huge pet but now seeing like there's only two is uh yeah the chance of actually getting one is kind of crazy but it's not impossible all right i'm definitely still gonna try that is for sure i have been lucky in the past i i have sometimes hatched a new huge like um like back in the day when the the halloween update first came out i was like one of the first in the world to hatch the huge pumpkin cat i know i mean that's kind of old news now but uh it, it was still a special moment i still i to be fair i still can't believe it i was like well, yeah literally one of the first i think it was gold too so you never know i i could be the third person <laughs> Get the huge arcade dragon and then become a trillionaire in pets in 99. That would be pretty awesome. It, it'd basically be like winning the lottery hatching that pet. That's why I want to try and farm as many tokens as possible so I can actually get it. That is my objective. Operation get huge arcade dragon and then sell it for billions and trillions and, and be number one. Anyway, yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. And I will see you in the next video. If you made it this far, by the way, make sure you like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Anyway, bye bye.